Today I'm here with Went to the bride. I don't like your attitude, bro. I don't like Anyways, you. how you feel about oh, please don't lie? So fast, first of all. You need to relax. My fault. How you feel about please don't lie? Whoever they are, you're a widow. You need help. Honestly. You must be bored. Those my means though. I don't care. I don't like your fit. I don't like yours. What you mean? I got I gotta please you on. I don't give a f I don't even like you. You just met me. Why I you talking? What happened? Yeah, next question. Let's go. How old are you? Older than you. I can't. I can't touch that. What? Don't touch that. Oh, she's bugging. Okay, so I saw in the comments, everyone was saying, oh, she's masculine. I wouldn't be able to talk to women like her. All this stuff. Uh, even the women, they were saying the same thing. You have to understand this is New York City. Okay, so culture is different. It's very hard. Um, I visited a few times and a few times I've had that have an attitude with everyone. <laughs> it's the way you show strength in New York. Okay, so it's not the attitude. It's everything else. I watched some other videos of his interacting with other women and they were very much like, oh my gosh, <laughs> be my man. <laughs> we get it mixed up. When we meet a man, he does not get all of that. No, <laughs> we have flip flops. When we meet the man, he gets all this, oh my gosh, yes, I'm so feminine. And then when he becomes our man, we become hard. Like what? That's not, he thought he was getting this. Then he turn, turns around, he's getting this. Now am I saying to be hard at first and just be very rude? And, no, but that's not what she was. If you notice, uh, we go in the, in the beginning. Um, she was very nice at first, look, watch. Today I'm here with? Went to the bride. I don't like your attitude, bro. I don't like Anyways, you. how you feel about oh, please don't lie? Finished. So if you saw, it was when he had an attitude with her. When he was being a bit disrespectful, like she was talking. She didn't have an attitude. I think he just was flirting. Um, so she was all on him. So she, a little bit, I guess he could have been like, oh, she had an attitude because she's not on me. Uh, but um, so he was flirting a little bit. But the way he said it, it was no, that's, she wasn't going to take that. And as women, we have to have that level of, um, I'm worth this. And it's, a, it's beautiful that I'm worth this. And you have to act accordingly. And that's that. Um, when Before I was married, and I was just, I mean, even as a teenager and stuff, that's how I carried myself. Look, I mean, I understand that, you know, um, I always was nice, of course. Of, you know, I'm always being happy. Like, you know what I mean? Um, being um, friendly. That's what it is. Being friendly. I was always that way. Um, but if someone stepped out of line, then, yes, I should be able to. Well, I will <laughs> put a boundary there because, no, I did not disrespect you. I will not be disrespected. That's just a human thing, and that should be respect. I don't care if it's a cute dude, if he's wearing a cleasy, whatever. Um, as he says later on in the video, it's nothing. No, I, I don't need you. I don't need your money or anything. What you will be can do, we can be respectful and friendly. We can always keep it there, and that's what you um, demand, in a sense, um, because that's what you are worth. And when you show what you are worth, then that's what men respect, which turns into them being like, I need her. Because one thing I was never short on, even though I was very, I was friendly and all that stuff, which she was too, just a different culture. Um, I did not take disrespect. And I never lacked for somebody wanting to be my boyfriend when I was um, a teenager onto adulthood. Keep going. <laughs> so fast, first of all, you need to relax. My fault. How you feel about peace on life? Whoever they are, you're a widow. You need help. Honestly, you must be bored. Those my means, though. Okay, so I saw that some people thought that she was a little uh, rough there um, towards a music artist, but she's a music artist, right? So she was like, um, I'm very, you know, I'm, a, I'm critiquing them in my own way, in her way that she does it with her personality. Then he said, I don't care. I don't like your fit. I don't like yours. What you mean? I got, I got a cleasy on. I don't give a f I don't even like you. <laughs> so the fact that he says, look, I have this 3000 or whatever, how much it costs, coat. I have this coat on. You don't like this? I mean, all the girls do. She was like, I don't care, and I don't like you. Next question. <laughs> look, like I said, it's like we get it flip-flop. No man should, should lead with money. And if he leads with money, then we, that, I have no price tag. Sir, I am priceless. So if you leave with money that you're being disrespectful, I am not presenting myself as a prostitute. So I will not accept prostitute behavior. This is not a transaction. I am an asset. Um, and I will be a future asset to my husband, even if you are not mine. 
That's it. No, I'm not. You're not buying me presents. Why? What type of agreement have we made so that you feel comfortable doing that? You should be smarter with your money. You know, like even if though, though he had a crazy arm or whatever. I mean, he might be able to support. I'm not. I, I don't know anything about his business. But what if he didn't? And he over like, look, I got a crazy arm. You don't think I? Why? I might not like that coat. Why do I have to like that coat? Just because it costs such such amount of money. You get what I'm saying? Men that leave with money, you got to stop them in their tracks too. Because, and then that shows a different level. Oh, well, she's here. She's not with the whole, all the rest of the women who are attracted to me because I have a nice car, nice shoes, nice this, because they want my money. Oh, she's not like them. So, hmm, that's intriguing. She's different. She's interesting. <laughs> you just met me. Why are you talking? Fuck. What happened? Yeah, next question. Let's go. How old are you? Older than you. I can't, I can't touch that. What? Okay, so I'm not completely familiar with I Can't Touch That, but um, it's giving a little, like, I don't know, man, a little sexual, um, um, but still, like, on the mild side, I'm guessing. I'm going to flow with it. So, even though he was playing, you know, and all that stuff, um, you saw the way she reacted? See, the thing is, um, when, even if it's attention, this, I think I've done a video on this or something, but I was talking about how sex is not what we should is is a man want to have sex with us does not mean that he's interested that we are so great that we're so beautiful that oh we get all the men no no <laughs> men have sex with anybody <laughs> we have sex with the cute chick the um not as cute chick the gorgeous beautiful supermodel one and the average like no it's not the sex that's not what you should Say, this is why they want me. This is why he wanted me because I was so sexy. No, it should be because of your mind. What's the value within, okay? And that is what you present first. Because we have to be very strategic very early. We have a lot to do as women. A lot. We trying to have careers. We trying to have babies. We trying to have successful relationships. We're trying to make community change. We are trying to do so many things in our lifetime. And it's difficult for us to do all of this without being strategic early. We grow mature faster than men. So we have to use that for our advantage, not for whatever else we think is for. That's what it's for. We have to use it when we need to use it. And thinking logically about who should be in your space, who should take your um, intimacy, who you should be intimate with. Um, all the things that you need to be um, particular with, you have to do it fast. And it's up to us. As older women, women I guess I'm not, I'm not, I guess I'm not older women, but what am I? Uh, women in our 30s, um, we have to help the 20s and the teens so they can understand, okay, yeah, help them out. We got to help them out so that they know what to do. And um, they're not necessarily faced with what we had to face, but yeah, in a way, because I had some situations I should never had um, to be in. I, I don't. I, I mean, because if I would have knew more, if someone would have taught me more, I'd be like, okay, this is not the move to make. I figured it out fast, but everyone doesn't figure it out fast. So it's it's good for us to have a tribe so that we can talk and converse and help one another out. So yes, be harder, be more particular in the in the beginning. Know your worth. Work on yourself before you even hit 20s. You need to work on yourself in teenage years. If something is off, fix it. You know, if you're feeling some kind of way, know that you're feeling some kind of way and handle that. Take the responsibility for that. And then as you keep going, you keep growing particular about those men that are in your space. And make sure that um, you are not giving intimacy for tr in the transaction base. Like he gives you money. No. You shouldn't be worried about his money. You have, he has way more to offer. He's a human being. He has way more to offer than funds to you if he so chooses. But if he doesn't, that's not the one for you. If he doesn't realize his worth, he will not really be able to realize yours and act accordingly and be that leader that you so desire innately and for you to be that soft feminine space that he so, he so desires innately. Look at the comments. I thought this was such a cute little um, interaction. Um, at first, I was like, oh, she's giving a little too masculine. But no, I saw what it was. And um, she is, she comes off that way, but I'm sure she's so sweet within. Um, I could tell that. She knows her worth. And it was just a re reminder that 
all of us should do the same. And when I mean he was he was checking for her way more than the other girls that he interviewed completely. <laughs> Men like the chase. All right, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, don't forget to like this video. I love y'all. Peace.